Now, this stuff right here, these outlets that do this, specifically the sun, horrible, horrible. Y'all know I'm an advocate for mental health, and this right here is why. Before we get into this story, welcome back or welcome to my channel. I don't know how you got here, but I am so glad you're here. I hope you stick around and smash that subscribe button before the end of this video and also click the little bell besides subscribe to all that way you'll be notified whenever YouTube sends out notifications. Please like and share this video. Also comment your thoughts and opinions. I love hearing and reading what all of you have to say about all of these topics so don't forget to drop a comment below. Now this, this right here, uh-uh, 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 mm-mm. Before I play this heart-breaking post by Christine's boyfriend's daughter, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and warn you, it's gonna pull at your heartstrings. It really will. This is real life. These are real people. Mental health is not a game. This type of stuff right here, and the sad, pathetic part is, is that the people writing these articles, they don't care. They do not care. They don't care. So at this point, we're just kind of raising awareness and letting the people know, don't click on these types of outlets. Don't support them. Because you don't have to publicly say their name. If you click on their article, you support them. And let me tell you something. I'm now boycotting the sun. For real. For real, for real. Because this is taking it way too far. Way too far. Now, like I said, this is David Woolley's daughter. David is Christine Brown from Sister Wife's Boyfriend. If you've been living under a rock for the past couple of months. This is David's daughter. I'm just going to play the video right here. This is her post. Her most recent post. Pay attention. Do you know what sucks pretty bad? To read an article about the worst moment of your entire life when you begged for them to not post it when you were asked for a comment. This was not gossip. This was not public interest. This was the worst moment of my entire life. I have to relive the most traumatic moment of my entire life while the internet's going to pick it apart and make up a story that's simply not true. This article was posted for one reason and it was to make money. And it really sucks that someone chose to make money off of my trauma. They twisted the details into something that's just not true. It also really sucks that they said that no one reached out for her because I spent every day of the last 10 years wishing that I could have done something else and to be told that that's the truth really sucks. I know my mom felt hopeless. I know she felt like she was being controlled and that she was in a dark place because she was in a dark place. My mom was an addict. No one should have to relive the worst moment of their whole life for a gossip magazine. When as a society are we gonna say this is enough? When are we going to stop using people for money? Imagine the worst thing you've ever gone through and then someone twisting the details and making a gossip article about it. No one should have to relive that moment. We need to do better. Look, I absolutely agree with her 1 billion percent. We all need to do better. We all need to be better. And my step in that, you will no longer hear me quoting any sort of articles from the sun because that right there, that's too far. That's too far. And look, there's supposed to be a professional quote unquote outlet. Yeah. That a lot of people go to. Think about it. A lot of you, you can say you don't, but you know you do because I'm guilty of it too. A lot of us, we'll put it that way, a lot of us are guilty as quoting the sun as being some reputable outlet. You know why? Because a lot of people are talking about them. Kind of like those bigger YouTubers who also spread the misinformation and the toxicity. Yeah. Kind of like that just because they got a following. You can buy a following. You can buy clicks and views. You can even buy promotion and advertisement. That's getting, you know, fake accounts to promote your stuff. You need to 
listen and read the content. What's the intent behind the content? Ask yourself that. As my dog is over here, Charlie is uh, scratching. I don't know. I guess he had a little itch and he's going, mm. Do you feel good, buddy? Do you feel good, buddy? Did it? Did it? Did it say hello? Tell him. Tell him. Say, be nice. He's out of here. He said, I ain't got time for this mess. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you something. We, as society, has gotten kind of complicit to this. And it's just, it's going to stop. There ain't no, it's got to stop. It's going to stop. <laughs> these tabloids and these creators out there, if you can't find the facts or some tea to spill and to talk about and to create, this might not be the job for you. <laughs> Ooh, how many people have said that to me? This might not be the job for you. I'm like, uh, yeah, it is because we got way too many uh, just ignorant, ignorant people out there running your headlines feeding you this info so it's time for a change the change is a coming i have arrived <laughs> like and share this video meet me down in the comments below y'all show your support for david's daughter katie katie i see you i stand with you i'm here for you girl your words matter. And don't be out here lying on people, especially when it's something as serious as that. Like, that, don't do that. Uh-uh. Don't be tacky. Don't be weird. Because that's just, that's weird. To me, that's weird. But anyway, smash that subscribe button. Click the bell to all. I love you for watching. I'll see y'all in my next video.